close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And I So you're thinking about moving to Orange Beach, Alabama, Gulf Shores, and the surrounding area. Well, today I am going to discuss pre-construction and new construction condos on the beach in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. Uh, not going to be for every buyer, but personally, uh, been able to make a lot of money for myself and for my clients using some really cool strategies on the pre-construction but I am personally a big fan of the newer constructed condos. Um, only, only issue there is that uh, you do need about a million dollars and up to, um, to get in on that. But regardless, some really good information in this video. So you're gonna wanna stick around and check it out. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring the little bell so you can be one of the first ones to learn everything there is to know about the current market conditions in Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, and the surrounding areas. My name is Aileen Fountain, along with my partner, Andy Hollis, and our, and our entire team, we do these videos each and every week just to be informative, just to let you know what it's like to actually live here. So whether it's nine days or 90 days from when you're thinking about buying your property, moving here, investing, give us a call, shoot us a text, email us, set up a Zoom. We'd love to meet with you face-to-face. -face. We do get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every single day, and we absolutely love it. So as I mentioned, um, this video is primarily going to go over pre-construction and new construction condos in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. Um, personally, myself and a number of my clients have done extremely well investing in this type of property. Um, of course, as you know, uh, when the crash happened in 08, there was a lot of investors who lost a ton of money who had overextended themselves. Um, you know, certainly nothing is a slam dunk in life, but, uh, but these have been excellent, excellent investment properties and I continue to personally invest in them to this day. So I'm going to go over um, what exactly I'm talking about and I'm also, if you stick around in this video, I'm going to share with you the worst decision I ever made on selling a property. Um, <laughs> I left a lot of money on the table, I'll tell you about that. But uh, what, what we're going to start out with here, so, you know, everybody knows the crash in 08. Um, if you've been around, you definitely know. And so we, you know, we had a ton of uh, buildings in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach that were built in the early 2000s, all the way up to about 2006, 2007. Um, once the crash happened in 08, we really only had a couple new buildings that were built, I'm talking about Gulf Front, um, from 08 to 2016. There wasn't a lot of building at all going on. Um, Phoenix West 2 was complete in 2013, and it is a monstrosity, but, uh, but that was really the only building completed in that time frame. There was a couple others built in, in 08 as well, um, <clears throat> but that was a really challenging time for construction, so you just don't see a lot of uh, properties built in that time frame, but uh, everything started to get renewed when Brett Robinson started building again and their first big project uh, after Phoenix West 2 um, to get back to building buildings was Phoenix Gulf Shores. Um, Phoenix Gulf Shores is an excellent property. It is just on West Beach. Um, really, really nice. Uh, built in 2017. And I mean, you're looking at a million up to get in there, but those are three and four bedroom condos. Um, this really becomes the bread and butter moving forward as far as the type of floor plan that they did and the type of building that they did moving forward. 
It was extremely successful. I tried to get a number of clients in at the ground floor of that building, but you know, those were pre-selling, you know, years before they were constructed. And a lot of buyers were still a little wary about um, pre-construction in general, but just buying anything in that time frame. Uh, but the people who did go forward and purchase during that made a lot of money and did really well. So fast forward that um, project completed um, in 2017. And then we're going to move on uh, the next big project that they did after that. I'm talking about Gulf Front Properties here. Uh, they did Phoenix Orange Beach One. Again, wildly successful. Um, that property was completed, I believe, in 2020. Uh, followed by Phoenix Orange Beach Two, which I think has been the most successful building that they have done to date. And Phoenix Orange Beach too. I mean, I got um, I got some clients, two two clients of mine that made like we're talking about over a million dollars worth of equity that they had in their properties. One of them has already sold, but they made well over four hundred thousand when they sold, and this was in a relatively short period of time. So these have been excellent, excellent investments. Um, fast forward from Phoenix Orange Beach 2, and you had uh, Phoenix Gulf Shores 2 and Phoenix Gulf Tower 1 and 2. So Phoenix Gulf, Sh Gulf Shores 2 is uh, under construction now. It is really close to being complete. It is, um, it's going to be, it's going to be their second building, new building in Gulf Shores. And in, in my opinion, it is going to be the premier place to be in Gulf Shores. It's got a lazy river. It's the only Gulf front complex that will also have a lazy river in Gulf Shores. And this is really challenging to do because Gulf Shores density is not what Orange Beaches is. So they don't have as deep of a beach there. So it's really challenging to get good amenities uh, in terms of pools, lazy rivers, et cetera, in Gulf Shores. So this is going to be a, a, a big, big, big deal. And I think it's really gonna set this particular complex apart from every other complex. Plus it's just gonna be brand new. It's gonna be a beautiful building. Um, so this, this building is about a year, year and a half away from completion. You can actually see it if you drive by. Um, Phoenix Gulf Tower 1 and 2 are the next ones that I want to talk about. They are just across the state line when you're coming in from Gulf Shores to Orange Beach. So I actually owned in Phoenix Gulf Tower 1. I bought pre-construction in there, a four-bedroom corner unit in the first building. The first building is now complete and everybody moved into it last spring. Um, I got very antsy and I did not wait till completion and I made probably the biggest investment mistake of my career and I sold too soon. I uh, made about $400,000. However, I left a good five to $600,000 on the table. So uh, that one um, was not my best move. It's always good to make money, but uh, when you leave that much money on the table, you definitely will have some regrets. Um, but at any rate, uh, Phoenix Gulf Tower is, is uh, complete. It has a lazy river and it's already being rented out and doing phenomenally well. Its sister building, Phoenix Gulf Tower 2, is almost complete. They really started those two buildings about, uh, about 12, 18 months apart from one another. And they sit, like I said, right across the straight, uh, state line in Orange Beach. So they are on the west side of Orange Beach. Um, and Phoenix Gulf Tower 2 is almost complete, so it is still under construction. Uh, then you travel down, there's two buildings that are coming out of the ground now that were pre-sold. So these actually are different in some real key areas. So the Phoenixes, they're very well known here. You cannot have come to the beach and Gulf Shores or Orange Beach and not have heard of them. They are the de developer who's developed the majority of the buildings on our beaches. Um, really very uh, much a quality product. I really like the Phoenixes. Um, Brett Robinson, the developer, has never not built a building that they said they were going to build. So they're tried and true as far as from an investment standpoint. I have had clients 
um, approach me about other new construction that has attempted to come out of the ground in various um, locations in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, I have always told them I don't trust anything but Brett Robinson and the Phoenixes because they have a track record that is proven. And as I mentioned, have never not built a building they said they were going to build. And so when I am investing my client's money, I want to make sure that there is a high, high, high level of confidence um, that this is going to be a good investment for them. And I don't want them to tie their money up in a project for a couple of years only to find out that it's not going to come out of the ground and they could have had that money working for them somewhere else. And so, yeah. Yeah, I just, I just, uh, I stick with what, um, what I feel like is a sure thing. Nothing in life is a guarantee. Everything has risk to it, but I like to minimize that risk, especially when investing. So back to um, the Phoenixes. I love them. Um, they are a bit plain Jane on the outside. They're, if you want a pretty building, then um, the Phoenixes probably aren't going to be for you. You might want to look at turquoise. Uh, Bella Luna, Carib, those are beautiful, beautiful buildings. They have awesome um, amenities as well. They have a lot of square feet, very high end, um, much more luxury feel to those buildings. The Phoenixes um, do not have that feel. Uh, their, their standard interior packages are very blah. Um, they, everything's kind of an upgrade. At least ha that, that has been the, the case for Gulf Shores 1, 2, Gulf Tower 1 and 2, Phoenix Orange Beach 1 and 2. Um, that has been the, the, um, the norm, if you will. And so buyers can come in and upgrade tile packages and this and that. But in general, um, nothing uh, spectacular, but you are going to get a building that was constructed to a very, very high quality, very high standard poured in place concrete. Um, so in my opinion, uh, you know, you can always come in and cosmetically update the interior of a unit and make it nicer, but to have that quality construction, um, only they're the only ones that I know of that do poured in place concrete. Um, and in this climate and in, and in this, you know, type of environment, you know, you definitely want something to be high quality construction. And these really, really are. I have been on site while they are pouring the concrete into the walls. It is, and I actually have video of it. It's a pretty cool thing to watch. Uh, but anyway, I uh, can't say enough good things about the quality of construction. Uh, you will not be blown away by any of the color schemes or the finishes. They are known for quality construction, good rentals, good amenities, uh, well-run, well-managed properties. So they have a lot of really positive checks. They're also very um, economical. So the, the deal with the Brett Robinson's Phoenix is if you get pre-construction, if you get on the ground level, um, you get a big, big, big discount for that because they're essentially going to take your money and go build the building with it. So they basically, you pay for the entire um, unit up front. This is how the pre-construction works with Brett Robinson. It's, it's unusual. Uh, other developers definitely do it a different way, but other de developers also don't actually get the product finished. So back to, they have a very, very proven strategy. So they give you the upfront discount. You close on the unit before it's built. So you basically own, well, I call it a condo in the sky is what we joked. Uh, you own a piece of paper that says you, you know, you have this option on this unit. You don't own anything yet. It hasn't come out of the ground. Um, so you're essentially buying air, <laughs> but, uh, but a promise that this, this, this is going to be built. They take your money and they go build the building. So essentially they're building the building with your cash but it saves them a ton of money in fees uh, because of, of they're not financing the money. And so you build the building with your cash, but then the end result is that as time goes on, they get more and more valuable because once other buyers and investors can see this property coming out of the ground, they start getting more and more intrigued. And they're like, well, what about this new building? Tell me more about this new building. And so the prices will go up the closer it gets to being finished. Once the building is finished and it has its CO, you will see a pretty significant price bump 
in what those originally sold for and what they will be selling for at that point. You will see another significant price point, price bump once, um, once these new owners get into the unit, get it furnished and get it in a rental program. You will see buyers then are willing to really write that check and pay a premium for it because now they can immediately use it they can immediately rent it out and they can start cash flowing it. So buyers are way more willing at that point to pay a high price for the property. So those investors that had the um, either the funds or the ability to close through financing and had that confidence that this building was going to get built, they end up reaping the benefits of it. But then again, the new buyer who gets the finished product, you know, there's no risk at that point other than your, your normal risk of buying any property. Um, so, you know, they also have rental income to offset expenses. So that's important to a lot of buyers. Most, um, most of the buyers that I deal with are not going to be interested in pre-construction, but for the ones who have been interested in it, I can tell you we have all done extremely well um, with this one developer, uh, with this one type of product, getting in, uh, the earlier you get in, the more you uh, could uh, uh, make. But there really is, like I said, there's stages where this price bump, price bump, price bump, closer you get to it being finished. So there's a lot of uh, equity growth along the way, no matter at what point you get in. And again, if you want the finished product because you need that cash generating rental income to offset your expenses, that's okay too. It's a great product. So the sooner you get it, the sooner you get in, the better. Even if it is after completion, um, you're going to get a great product. You're going to get the newest thing out on the market that, that is going to be very desirable for buyers. There's only so much beach that we have left to develop. So at some point, we're not going to have any more new buildings. Um, but there are two more coming out of the ground right now. Uh, you have Gulf Shores 1 and Phoenix Gulf Tower 2 that are almost complete. And you have two that have pre-sold that are coming out of the ground now. These are going to be very different than the other buildings that Burt Robinson has built. As I just explained to you, plain Jane, but high quality construction. These are going to be different. So the next one coming out of the ground is Phoenix Point South, and it is in a premier location. It is located right next to the new coastal restaurant. So you have the Hampton Inn just to the west, and you have coastal restaurant just to the east, and you will see the construction going on right there in the middle. That is Phoenix Point South. Um, last I checked, there was only like two units left in there. Um, they, they did sell for a very, very high price. You're talking, you know, uh, well over a million dollars just to get in on a building that hasn't been built yet. So these were very pricey, but they were larger in square footage. They had quite a bit more options on floor plans. And the big, big, big key difference is that it is a lot more high end, uh, more luxury. So it's going to be actually a bit of a hybrid from what they have been doing to the next building I'm going to talk about, which is Phoenix Key. Phoenix Key is going to be their first luxury, luxury building that they've ever done. Um, it's going to be very high end. It's going to be beautiful. Um, you're talking about the four bedroom corner units are 3,100 square feet, five bedrooms, wraparound balcony, hot tubs, uh, very, very high end finishes on the inside. A, a lazy river that goes around the building. Um, it's gonna be. It's going to be the nicest thing um, on our beach in that we've seen since Turquoise Place. And you know, unfortunately, as beautiful as Turquoise Place is, it is. Um, it's starting to age. You know, the first uh, they were built in 2005 and 2008. So those two buildings are um, getting a little bit older now. Phoenix Key is going to be the place to be and it is it is actually where it's even nicer than turquoise is it's a lot lower density it's just the one building you're going to have two corner units that are same floor plan that are going to be the five bedroom 3100 and change um, floor plan and then you're going to have the center stack that's going to be four four that can be converted to a fifth bedroom with some modifications 
at that 3,000 square foot mark. So these are going to be really big, really nice. It's going to be uh, very unique and it's low density. So there's not that many units in this building. So there's really not a lot left in Phoenix Key. You can still get in at pre-construction prices there. Uh, Phoenix Point South, I, I haven't checked here in the last month or so. They may already be completely sold out. So then you would be uh, purchasing a resell of a pre-construction. Um, and that happens all the time. Like the, they, they change ownership quite a bit from day one through the date of completion. So it's totally normal. But those are the two new construction buildings coming out of the ground now. Um, Phoenix Point South, which would be a bit of a hybrid from the typical product that they do and this high-end luxury product that they're going to do with Phoenix Key. Um, don't know if they'll ever do anything as luxury as Phoenix Key again, but I'm very, very, very high on that building. Um, Phoenix Point South, uh, very high on because it is going to be nicer than the other products. Um, but it, the other big thing about that is that location, that location is going to be prime, um, being that it's right next to coastal and it's in the heart of orange beach. So a lot of really great products, um, out there in these buildings. Um, if you are a million and up buyer, you definitely want to check these products out. Now, Phoenix Key, you know, you're over $2 million just to get in the door. So uh, you will have to have a healthy budget there. Phoenix Point South also has to have a very healthy budget. I mean, you're you're um, well into north of, you know, I think 1.5, 1.6 and up as well in that building. Um, but now, you know, a million, a little over a million still gets you in Phoenix Gulf Shores 1, Phoenix Gulf Shores 2, uh, Phoenix Gulf Tower 1, Phoenix Gulf Tower 2. Now, once you get to Phoenix Orange Beach 1 and 2, um, you need a little bit better budget unless you get a two-bedroom. Both those buildings have um, some two-bedroom options. Those you can still get in at a little over a million dollars. Um, they're 1,500 square feet. They're really nice units. Um, then the three bedrooms on Phoenix Orange Beach 1 and 2, you're getting up into a million and a half. Uh, and then the four bedrooms are the corners and you're looking close to 2 million, if not a little bit over, depending on the building and the finishes and the furnishings. So, um, yes. So yes, you will need a healthy budget if you want this type of product, but if you were in that price category, I have, um, we, myself and my clients, we've done extremely well, uh, with it financially. And I, I certainly believe in the product. I believe in the um, the quality of construction. I believe in uh, the, the the new updated floor plans that they've come out with. A lot of the older Phoenixes, especially the corner units and the older ones, that the three bedrooms where the where the primary is not on the Gulf. Uh, same thing with Phoenix West one and two. I think is a major oversight with some of their floor plans. When you don't have the primary bedroom facing the Gulf, I think that's a mistake. Um, but these all from Phoenix Gulf Shores 1 forward, which is 2017 and forward, that they, they really did do a much, much, much better uh, job with the design and the layouts of the units. And then you've got the quality construction, the amenities, the great rentals, a lot of really, really positive things to uh, take a look at with the new construction and pre-construction uh, Phoenixes. If you'd like more information on this type of product, please give us a call. Just text, email us, set up a Zoom with us. Uh, this is something that I really enjoy personally, and it's something that I have personally invested in as well as a number of my really good clients. Um, so I, I definitely have um, quite a bit of experience with this. Hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. And remember, if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring the little bell so you can be one of the first ones to learn everything there is to know about what it's like to live here, vacation here, and invest here. Hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, we hope to see you around town.